Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the sixth episode of my list. I keep doing that. Welcome to the sixth episode of my RPG Maker VS video tutorials. In this episode, I will be showing you guys how to add custom content or add custom graphics to your game. I've already went ahead and got some graphics to be imported into the game. And before I actually start going over, I would like to show you guys a way to find it. This isn't the only place, that's other places, but here is a place to find them as of right now that I know of. Actually, I know more places, but this is a general place that you can find them. Basically, RPGMakerVSAs.net. You go down over to Resource Showcase, and then you could go through the whole form because um this is basically for people uploading their um their creative work and then but if you want to have them all in one place you just go to this this thread which is pinned resource showcase directory and everything is broken down into sections so you could you could go ahead and if you're looking for sprites you go here and you look for sprites if you want music music battlers and so on so a very nice list made by grandma deb um another place another way to find it on this same website is just by going to this tab right there where it says graphics and it'll show you a whole bunch of resources that you could pick actually go to galley is then you could pick from sections okay i've already got gathered some resources i don't waste time on that on the video now let me show you guys how to import them <clears throat> there's actually three ways you could import graphics two ways is outside of the game and one way is inside of the game Bef and then the two outside of the game you could okay let me show you one way is if you want to permanently import a graphics to your database which means every time you make a new game you will get that graphics every single time and to do that all you do is go to computer go to my computer go to local disk c go to program files come on files Interbrain, RGSS3, RPG Maker VS Ace, Graphics, and all of this is where your RTP is, meaning your runtime package. This is basically all the default, all the default things that come with the game. And anything else you add onto this basically acts like it's a default thing and it's always going to be there every time you create a new game, unless you delete them manually. Okay. Now to add graphics to this, you basically just let's say I want to add a. I want to add a. Let's say I want to add a window. So I basically copy these over. You can only have one window at a time. So let me go ahead and rename the default window to Window One. And it has to be as um it has to be the exact oh my bad continue rename like it has to be exactly named windows everything in here has to be exactly named like game over that's for your game over screen icon set it has to be exactly the name of that now let's go ahead and open up our tutorial world and then just for an example to show you that it's working let me make a show preview as you can see this is not the default way that it this is not the default menu as you can see it's different 
um so that's one way to import graphics permanently into your games and then every single time you make a new game it's always gonna be there now the second way to import graphics outside of rpg make it vx itself is by going to this one is very simple go to my documents find your rpg maker vs folder go to the game that you want and then go to graphics and let's in this example let's go ahead and oh yeah one more thing if you add in in the graphics system folder whatever you add to it replaces whatever whatever is in the main rtp which is the place that I just showed you so any custom stuff that you add into it is going to replace the old one it's going to replace the old one until you make a new game without anything in this folder so let's go ahead as you can see that's an icon set on the on the other on the R main rtp folder now let me go ahead and move this here and rename this it has to be exactly named icon set capital i and capital s one word now just go ahead and restart this two database items yeah there's gonna be a black bar around it and i will show you how to get rid of this but the way that i'm showing you how to import things is if you're importing a file that you know is 100 percent set up already like the icon set isn't set up already so you have to import that a special way unless you want to set it up yourself in like photoshop or something like that but i wouldn't recommend that because rpg maker vs ace and vx has a built-in way to import graphics without without um okay i'm gonna so basically this is how it works if you want to import an animation you find an animation and you add it to the animation folder if you want to import a battle back you go ahead find the battle back you want move it here and now you have a battle back and then you could get two different battle backs battle back one and battle back two you find them if you want to import a battler which is your monsters you go ahead find the monster these are all three monsters find them and move them to battlers if you want to import a um, character again go ahead as you can see this is the tutorial npc that we made in the last episode every time you generate a character and save it you could choose where to save it but it defaultly saves here but if you want that to be permanent in your game you could go ahead and save it to the to the main RTP folder because it's already set up for you. Okay. Let's say I want to. I actually have more battlers. These are the. Some of these are the default battlers with some edits. So I'm not gonna add them. Um. Okay. If you want to add tile sets, you go ahead and go over here. Before in previous RPG Maker, in the previous RPG Maker VX, you had to name it exactly Tau Set A, Tau Set B. But here you could just move it and then pick what you want later. And I'll show you how to set up that in episode something, and I can't remember what episode that is. I'll show you how to set up the Tau Sets. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna import um. Excuse me. If you want to import, excuse me again. If you want to import, um, all right. If you want to import, um, I can't remember what it's called right now for some reason. If you want to import generate on um, generator parts, there's a way to do that, and that for some reason I can't remember how you do it. How do you do it? Data, it's not here. It's definitely not there. Auto, assist, wait. It's over world, system, it's not here. Graphics. It should be here. Well, that's a way to import these. Um. 
once I figure it out, I'll make a short video on it. But for right now, I can't remember how you import. I knew, I used to know, but I haven't. Ever since um, I got RPG Maker VS Ace, I never actually imported any graphics. But I got these to show you guys, but then I forgot how to do it. So now that you know how to import graphics from outside of RPG Maker VX Ace, let me actually go ahead and show you how to import it within the game so you don't have to exit the game and then go back into it every time you import new um, graphics. Okay, I've actually imported all my graphics, so let me go ahead and find something I haven't imported. Uh, for example, let me... Oh yeah, music. Let me... I have some music. Okay. Let me go back. I have some music from Life Audio Background Music. Okay, these are some music files. Let me go ahead. Copy these over here. And I'll show you how to import music files. Okay. To import graphics in R within RPG Maker VSA, there's two ways to do it, which is actually the same way. Is you can go to Tools and go to Resource Manager, or you could simply just click this icon right here or press F10, whichever way, whichever one floats your boat. Okay, once you get to the Resource Manager, you the left hand side is basically the kind of um, graphics you want to import. Let's say if I want to import music, break. Background music, I go to audio, background music, I click on import, and then I go ahead and find the folder where my music is, which is in desktop, in port, let me go ahead and press I, open up, and then you select the ones you want, and you import it, and when you import custom graphics from, okay, when you import, import custom graphics from the main RTP folder everything is gonna be in blue meaning is the default one and every time you make a new game the blue ones are always going to show up in that new game so whenever you put something in your main RTP folder it's gonna come up as blue but if you add anything to your to your main game folder which is in documents RPG Maker VS 8 and then the name of your game it's gonna show up in red meaning that it's only temporary to that game that you're working on Unless you copy over the files of the other game or the main RTP folder. So right here you could export me and I could export these two if I want to. But you could export them to a file if you want to use them for another game or something like that. You could delete them from right here. Um, Here's the custom tool that I was telling you that RPG Maker VS Ace has. You see how I have this, um, the icon set that I imported that wasn't, wasn't set up right. You see how it is right now? That's a way for me to fix this to fix the blackness and make it transparent So let me go ahead and I don't want to delete it because I only have one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and import Go back to RPG Maker VSA System go back just import this again and then it's gonna show me this. This is the custom to I'm um, the tool that I was telling you about that that fixes it. So basically, this is what you do. Left click to pick what you want to be transparent, and right click to pick what you want to be translucent. But right now, I'm gonna leave it both black. And you could click on the one times to zoom in or the four times to zoom in, and even more. But once I press OK. It should fix it for me. Give me a second. Actually, I don't know if it's going to do that because it's like in the folder itself. Um, some technical difficulties right now. I think I clear this. No, it's clear. Because black means for it to be tr um, transparent. I mean, Hold on. Black is not a good color for this. But anyways, if you do that, it's going to um, fix it for you. For some reason, it's not working for this particular file. And that's basically all. That's basically how you import files to RPG Maker VS Ace. The tile sets that I've imported. If you want to make a new tile set, make that. 
and then you pick see the ones in red are the ones that we imported and with that being said thanks again for watching and that is how you import graphics to RPG Maker VS Ace If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below or um, post it on my thread, which I will put a link to. And thanks for watching this video. And I will see you guys on episode 7. Thanks again.